Hello everyone and welcome back. It's, uh, I don't know, Tuesday I think. <laughs> I haven't filmed for the last couple days. And, um, because I'm busy with work and editing the other videos to get them up. But, uh, I need to start the process of getting the fence around these apple trees. Like, I, I don't know if I said it when I first planted them, but that's been our intent the whole time because the deer are going to eat these things alive. I read somewhere once that one apple tree will attract deer more so than a hundred acre um, field of corn. So they just love them. But I have one where the top is already broke and I don't know if that's from a deer or from whatever, but I'm just starting to get the post in here and then I'm gonna run six foot high chain link fence. Then it'll just go around here and it'll have to stay there for a few years until these get really established and big enough to fend for themselves. This is actually a really good way for me to use my uh, fence posts that are bent. Some of these are like a foot shorter than the other ones. So it's a good way. I just keep them all the same on the front side, what you're going to see. And hopefully the rest of it I can live with. <laughs> there we go. Each one of these, I'm going to need about 18 feet of the six foot high chain link fencing. And I still have five more trees to get around. Some of these back here, I don't know, I suppose I'll do four posts each one. You could almost get by with three. You can actually just make a round circle if you keep it out far enough from the tree. But uh, with our snow depth that we get here, they're eventually they're going to be able to get on top of it and chew them from the top. So I definitely need a six foot high fence. Good morning everybody. 5.32 right now. Just heading down to work. Well, I went down to work today, got that done, came back up here to, actually I went to Superior and saw Melissa for a little bit, then I drove back here, and then tonight when she got home from work, as you can see we were planting stuff in the hay bale garden. That series is running on As the Rooster Crows channel, so I just showed a little bit of that. And it's about 8.40 right now, so it's time to go inside. Okay everyone, well it's about, I don't know, quarter after nine. Be going to bed within an hour here. I got the sprinkler going. Tomorrow's a new day. Oh, I didn't film much today. My mom and dad stopped by and my mom has not been here since, not last Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving before. So things had really changed. They were here maybe 45 minutes on their way up to the cabin. After Melissa got home from work, we planted all the rest of the beans, and now she's watering all the plants. So all the beans are in, and there's not a whole lot in the garden right now that deer like to eat, but I definitely need to get it fenced pretty quick here because they love to eat beans. 
almost all the potato plants, or the potatoes that I planted, are coming up. Actually, all of these seem to be up, and these ones I planted a week later. These are the blue ones, and some of those are coming up, and there's a couple over here that have not popped through yet. Making four cheese lasagna, hamburger helper tonight for supper. Good morning, everybody. It's a really nice uh, warm morning here. Uh, I think today's high is going to be, I don't know, close to 80. Tomorrow's high is only going to be 68. I ran a 100 footer and a 50 foot uh, garden hose out here and it makes it right here. So I'm going to run into town. I need to get one more 50 foot hose. There's a few things I need to get. So we've just been having a little list and I'm going to run up to L&M and pick that stuff up right now. Still hasn't rained, so my windshield is still pretty dirty. Well, that took about an hour and 15 minutes, but everything is watered. I'm gonna go inside and have some lunch. I'm going to get some of the wire around these trees now. Doesn't look like any more damage was done by the deer. One done, seven to go. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I did pick up the new shaft for the finish mower. Well, Melissa got home from work and we walked around and looked at all the blackberries and raspberries and blueberries and then we decided to practice shoot with our ARs and our nine millimeters. So it's been, I don't know, at least two hours. And I want to get that third middle tree that I'm doing. I'm just doing three posts on that one because it's a small tree and then I can that uses up the rest of that roll. Otherwise I have a piece that um, was unusable. So I'd like to get that one done. It's already about 20 minutes after seven. Good morning, everybody. It's about 7.25 right now. It's warmed up to 50 degrees. When I woke up this morning at about 10 after 4, I looked at the temperature thing and it said it was 38. I immediately poked my head out to make sure that there wasn't any frost or anything, but everything was fine. In just a few minutes here, I'm going to run out and do some more wrapping of those trees with the wire. It's supposed to get up to 64, I think, today. And... Um, but I think it's going to get windy again, and it's been so windy the last couple of days I haven't been able to film a whole lot.
before I fence them here, I've been putting another two and a half gallons of water on it. I uh, did it when I first planted them. Now it's like, what, a week later? And uh, we've had no rain, so I want to get a good dousing. It sounds like there's going to be some rain coming in two days, hopefully. You can see right here on this zest star apple that it's just about to flower. Every one of these is going to be flowers, so it's going to be really pretty here in a few days. One more tree done. Well, Melissa just yelled that it was time for lunch, so I'm gonna go in and eat. Well, lunch is done. I spent a couple hours inside, took care of uh, the last editing of the last video Melissa did on the hay bale garden. And now I want to get back out there and finish those fruit trees and get to my goal that I've been trying to get to for two days, which is to get that finish mower put back on the tractor with the new PTO shaft and see how it works. Well, for now, the fruit tree project is finished. 
later on, like midsummer to late summer, when the fruit trees start to go 50% off, who knows? I might end up adding some more, but otherwise, I think we're good for this year. Well, I wasn't really planning on hauling all that brush out of the way today, but it looks real nice all cleaned out and all mowed. I want to get this all cleared out of here so I can mow it all the way straight through towards the chicken coop. But right now it's about 10 minutes after 8. I've had about enough for today.
that's about a quarter after nine and the rain um, the radar looks like the rain is going to miss us but it's still saying that there's a 90 percent chance of over a half inch of rain we got a bunch of stuff inside that screen porch that i don't want to get wet so i decided to close it up good morning everybody we have one little thunder shower coming through right now it's nice to see some rain For lunch we're going to make homemade tacos, but right now Melissa is making strawberry rhubarb crisp. We just tried the strawberry rhubarb crisp and it was delicious. Well, it was a horrible morning. It was in the 40s. There was that rain this morning. That only lasted maybe a half hour. It rained really hard for a while. Got about a half inch of rain. There was water sitting in the driveway in the low spots. But now the sun just popped out. It might be a halfway decent afternoon. Well, I've been debating. I wanted to start putting the fence posts around the garden. I'm going to fence that just like I did the apple trees for this year. But I think I'm going to mow the grass instead. It's too windy to film anything and uh, I really don't feel like putting fence posts in again today. Well, that was a wasted half hour, but I got it all out of there. There was even some cable down there that I didn't know was probably been there for six months for all I know. It's a little bit after seven o'clock. I got everything I wanted to get mowed mowed, but that wind is blowing so hard that my whole right side is like blasted with grass and stuff. So I'm gonna have to go right from here straight into the shower. Well, it's just a couple minutes until nine o'clock. I showered, I shaved, cut my hair, I needed it. <laughs> right now it's uh, 49 degrees out and tomorrow's high is still forecast to be 91. Today was not a nice day as far as being warm, but tomorrow it's supposed to be hot. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for watching. It doesn't really feel like I got a whole lot accomplished in this video when I'm thinking back. But I mean, getting those trees fenced and everything, that's something I don't have to do for years now. So, glad that's all done. I will see you guys on the next video.